These photos were taken about 80 years ago. Over the years they have become covered with dust, have faded, scratches and creases have appeared. It is unlikely that they will stay even in this shape as more time passes. It's a good thing we have managed to digitize and restore the images. My name is Daria, and today I'm going to show you how to save a family archive by restoring some old photos using retouching. Will, a friend of mine, and his family came across their grandmother's photo archive in the attic. They thought it had been lost since the previous house move. Photos that are 60, 70 or even 80 years old have been miraculously preserved. The pictures show the grandmother in her younger days, her family, friends and colleagues. Part of the history of the family, thought to be irretrievably lost, is now restored. One disappointment. Time hasn't spared all the photos. Grandmother was always looking through the pictures, the family moved several times, and the years have made the photos distinctly worn. The paper is crumpled, the corners are rubbed or even torn off, creases and cracks have appeared. The images themselves have faded, and scratches and scrapes have appeared, and there are accidental stains and marks from mold and water. Only small fragments are left for some of them. Will was going to take the pictures to a photo lab, in the hopes that they would be able to restore them. But fortunately for his wallet, he showed them to me first. I know a simple way we can restore old and damaged photos. Now I'm going to show you how we restored Will's photo archive. First, we digitize the photos and save the images in JPEG format. Nothing special, an ordinary scanner or multifunction printer will do. You can even turn your phone into a scanner. There are multiple applications that can help you do that. For instance, eye scanner, scanbot, or photo mine. Even if the photos are fine and there is no need for retouching, I still strongly recommend you make a digital copy. You know, just in case. Over the years, old hard copy photographs will deteriorate, get damaged, or just get simply lost. After digitizing the photos, we can move on to retouching. Here are our electronic copies of the photos in JPEG format. Can you see what time has done to this picture? The edges are frayed, one corner is completely torn off, the picture is spoiled by creases, and the photo ink has begun to crack and crumble. Not to mention the various spots and dots. So, let's see what we can do to restore the picture. For that, we'll need Mavavi Photo Editor. Open the program and upload the photo. I'll use this picture to show you how the restoration works. The photo was taken in 1930, over 80 years ago. The girl on the right is Will's grandma. Two other girls are her cousins. They are wearing the working clothes of the time. In this picture they were about 20-25 years old and worked at a poultry farm. Unfortunately, the edges of the picture are completely wiped out. Plus, an unwanted shadow has appeared on our scanner. I recommend that you sacrifice some of the image and crop the edges off completely. Click on the Crop tab. Here you can choose the standard aspect ratio of the photo or set it manually. Since I'm used to photos from iPhones, I'll choose a ratio of 3 to 2, so this photo will mimic the format of other photos from my collection, and it'll be easier for me to print it. Let's move to the Restore tab. That's the place where all the magic happens. Click Restore and wait till the program analyzes the photo and offers its own restore suggestion. Everything happens automatically, as if by magic. Now, let's compare the before and after. Make a difference, doesn't it? Notice how Mavavi Photo Editor has concealed photo creases and covered up the scratches and cracks in the photo. This is how the photo restoration tool works, just in one click. You can save and print the picture right now, if you want. But I'm going to take it a stage further. If you click Enhance Photo, the program will offer another option for retouching. Do you see how the coloring in our picture has become deeper, with more contrast? I will leave this option in place. An attentive viewer will notice a few small details that the automatic correction failed to fix. I'll try to fix this manually. Open the Object Removal tab. Here you need to set the brush size and carefully highlight the remaining flaws. Then you need to set a variation, 
better to make it bigger. The program will take more time to process, but the result will be better. Click Start Erasing. Hooray! Now we're even closer to perfection. Now the photo is quite noisy. It has an unwanted level of granularity. Let's try to fix that. Click the Denoise tab. I'll pick the last preset from the list, Night Scene. As you can see, the noise has disappeared. Too much, perhaps. The photo is now pretty soapy. I'll reduce the intensity of the preset to remove the unwanted effect. Now it looks better. Compare the photo with what it was. Did you notice that the original picture was in sepia? After auto recovery, our photo acquired shades of gray. You can leave it this way. But if you prefer sepia, use one of the filters in the program's collection. You can find it in the Effects tab. For Will's photo, I've chosen this filter and lowered the intensity. Finally, you can go to the Adjust tab and tweak the brightness and contrast in the picture. I think our photo is ready. Now I can save the restored version and print it. Click Save. Choose the JPEG format and high quality. Using Mavavi Photo Editor, I managed to restore not only this photo, but also others from Will's archive. Everyone in his family was very happy when they saw the results. Now that we have our restored digital copies of the photos, the family memories are not endangered anymore. You can print new copies at any time. The JPEG files won't bend, won't tear, and won't disappear down the side of the sofa during a move. Take care of your family photo archive before time destroys those valuable memories. As you can see, you can easily restore and retouch your old family photos yourself. You don't need to give them to a photo app, Movavi Photo Editor will do the job. I hope this video was helpful and you managed to restore some of your photos. Tell us in the comments or even better, show us the results that you've got. Learn more about what photo editor can do. How, for example, could you change the background in a photo? Take a look at this video to find out. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you'll find simple tutorials on how to shoot and edit video and do more creative work with your photos. Bye!